YouTubers, and welcome to yet another beer review with me, Peter the Master of Huppets, again joined by yeah. the Lord of Wolves. Looking at another German craft beer from uh, the Propeller Brewery, and this is their Propeller Nachtflug, which is their Imperial Stout. Nachtflug means like night, night, night fly. Night yeah. flight. Night plane. Flug is, Flugzeug is a plane, so night plane, I guess you would <laughs> translate to. And you had some info, it was the name. No, 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 okay. it was something else. Something else, so we're not going to go into that. But it's a big imperial stout. It says it's dark and, and tasty and creamy and, and stuff like that. That was uh, sent by, uh, it was sent Yeah, by and it was also sent by Jens. So thanks a lot to Jens for the beer. It's 9.1% alcohol, so this is like imperial stout territory, not as the, uh, the IPA, but that wasn't double, but let's get it cracked up. So we got the Propeller Nachtflug board. It actually looks much more darker in the glass now. Yeah. It was pitch black, but when you poured it, you did see reddish, kind of ruby red notes. Yeah, that is a little. Just very, very slightly, but a nice kind of mocha off white kind of head on there. So, yeah, she got the aroma. Oh, wow, a lot of dark fruits. Yeah. It smells like the English variant. Yeah. A lot of Bassett wine gums and fruit, like fruit cake. Yeah. A little bit of the chocolate, a little bit of coffee. Definitely smells in the English tradition. Yeah, molasses. Yeah. Sweet like dates and, and like the dried dark fruits. A little bit, it actually doesn't have too much roasted malt. It's no. more of an intense fruit ester. I mean, there is roasted malt in there, but it's not as much as I thought. Nope. Um, yeah, super fruity and estery. Almost like a, kind of like a vineyard's kind of, it, it reminds me a little bit of a port wine. Oh yeah. yeah. Actually, it, with the dark fruit, you want to give this a taste? Yes. It smells pretty good. Cheers. Cheers. Very English in style. Yeah. Um, mouthfeel is medium. Yeah, it's not that big of a mouthfeel. No. Uh, yeah, definitely a medium mouthfeel. Uh, but again, you, but oh, sorry. No, you go ahead. You don't taste the nine pound one. No, I don't taste it either. Uh, it's got a lot of fruit ester. I mean, it's super estery. A lot of dark fruits, dyed dark, dark fruits, dyed, dried. Uh, like the figs, the raisin. It also has the like fruit cake flavors and, and stuff like that. The basset wine gum. <laughs> yeah, basset wine gum. Yeah. Subtle roasted toasted malty notes. A little amount of black currant as well and mm -hmm. some toasted malt. Yeah. Kind of almost like a slight smoky night tone. Yeah. Just lightly. Uh, it's actually pretty interesting. I think it's pretty tasty. Yeah. It reminds me of the, uh, I think St. Petersburg, but it has a little more. I haven't had that one. No, but it has a little more dark roasted notes. It reminds me of uh, St. Petersburg. Oh, yeah, the Thorn Bridge. I was yeah. thinking of another beer. Yeah, yeah, I think St. Peter's. The oh, medicine bottle beer. No, yeah, yeah. I actually agree. It is a lot like a beer like that. Yeah. With a lot of fruit ester, some of the roast tones, and all that stuff. It's actually pretty good. I like this more than the IPA for sure. Yeah. Um, I think it's pretty tasty, but that said, it's not a big mind-blowing Imperial Stout, but if you want to try like a very estuary Imperial Stout, yeah, go ahead. it's good, because it's <laughs> definitely like the English style and all. Um, Rating-wise? Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking straight up 80 on it. I think it's really good, actually. Yeah. Uh, not the best Imperial Stout, of course, but still, it's really nice to try a beer like this from Germany. And first, Yeah, it's pretty enjoyable. First ever German Imperial Stout, yeah. so that's interesting. What about you? Uh, pretty much the same. 80 as well. I have nothing else to add. Mm. Go ahead and try it. Very <laughs> like the jammy fruits and all that yeah. stuff. So yeah, good stuff. So definitely let us know what you think of the Propeller Nachtflug if you've had it. And check it out guys if you can get this. I'm not sure if you can get this outside of, well, of Germany really. I haven't seen any of these beers on their rating sites uh, whatsoever. Oh, it's the Starry Night. <laughs> what? Starry Night, isn't it? Yeah, on the label. Yeah. You didn't see that? Nope. <laughs> okay, but yeah, um, definitely check out some some beer from the Popella Brewery. And definitely check it out, it's actually pretty tasty, if you like the more English estuary ones. And thanks a lot to Jens for, or Jens for sending it. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna say, uh, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter, and we're gonna say cheers. Cheers. And we're gonna see you guys in another beer.